Hey, what's up? Welcome to Vlogtastrophe. And it's been a while since I made a vlog uh, or made a, a video. I've been pretty busy. As you can tell, I'm in my outdoor work clothes. The sun's shining, so it's all about mowing lawns right now. And uh, not, not giving me much time for music. But <clears throat> just to keep you informed of what's going on on the music front, we got the uh, track that we're going to be releasing soon called New Day Dawning Back from the Mastering. And I was supposed to go to a meeting today with uh, my video guy, but I totally spaced it. I mean, I mean, I was working and I just forgot all about it. So now I'll have to reschedule that. And uh, we have some ideas for videos. Um, the first hurdle I had on that was my singer decided that she didn't want to be, didn't want to appear in the video. She has just had a, you know, a baby and stuff. She, she says she doesn't want to appear. So I have, I have to come up with a video idea without using the artist. So that, that should be interesting. And um, at first I thought, oh man, that's impossible. But I was doing some research and there are some really well-known artists that have done videos that made it fine with without ever appearing in them. So that, that'll work all right. Um, so we're gonna be doing that. Uh, on the other work fronts, what's been going on, I like I got my sub permit, you know that. And um, so I've been subbing a little bit here and there in classes and I, I signed up for the the uh, county substitute teaching thing so that's that's new and and I'm already you know contracted out of school but by having the substitute teaching thing when I'm free I can work right uh, if they if they have something available which they always do so it's not much money you know 100 bucks 100 100 100 to 140 dollars a day that's all they pay for substitute teaching and um, so it's not a lot of money, but every hundred bucks counts when you don't, if you don't have nothing else going on, you know. So uh, let's see, I I had made a video and and the, what, I'm, what we're going to do today is we're going to look at adding an intro and an outro to this song. I really blew it and the mic was off, so we're just going to fast forward through a lot of it. And, um, and then there's a part there where I use Adobe Audition to do some work and maybe the sound will be back in for that because I use the camera. So then the sound will be back in for that. Uh, I'm a big fan of Adobe Audition. I, I've used it for years and years now. It used to be called Cool Edit originally. And uh, so it does some stuff that most programs just don't do anymore. Oh, did you notice? The beard's gone. You probably did notice the beard's gone. Uh, I just got tired of being called Santa Claus at school or whatever. So I don't know. What do you think? Does it make me look younger? I think it does. All right. So I'm just going to, I'll try to put some vocal edits in there as the video is going so that we can understand what's going on a little bit. Let's switch over to the other file. Okay. So this is probably terrible sound because I can't make my thing work right. So here you see we have the uh, Logic project here open. Just ignore my lips because this is a second second audio feed. Uh, <clears throat> and first thing that we need to do obviously is to save a copy. So whenever you're going to make a major change, you want to save a copy. And what we're going to do here is we're going to change this song. Now I've already got it mastered and everything, so what I want to do now is make a club version of this. So I moved that forward, but this is a mistake right here. Uh, you know, all the automation is going to be off. 
so we're gonna fast forward this into until we hit the point but I am what I am gonna do is I'm gonna create watch and I'll create a section that I mix down and it's the drum section I just want one little section there you see me mixing it down and I'm just gonna fast forward this okay seven minutes in here um, you see I'm selecting just the just the top parts of the drums and keep going now now that I found the pieces that I want to be to use for the intro uh, I'm just gonna copy and paste them in to the front and to the back so there we go I'll just slide it over see I, I recorded it onto that track and now I just slid it over now that's the main part of this that's all you really need to see right here so I'm gonna cut over to a different part What I'm going to do now is I, I've found the pieces that I really liked that I want to use for the intro. Now, I want to keep the same feel, right? So I'm going to use the drums and the and the, uh, and the uh, uh, percussion stuff out of right out of the song. So I'm copying and pasting, figuring out what I want. I'm going to line it up by listening to it and lining up the high points and... And then uh, there I, I'm duplicating it, trying to. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste. Uh, you know, in, in Pro Tools, you can just hold down Alt and slide, and it just copies. It's way easier. Making sure everything's off and everything's right. And I just paste. And there we go. Now I just got to line it up and make sure it's right. And so... I'm giving my days to you I said I'm using my days to be acquainted to the 
son Jesus I give my life to you Jesus I give my life to you and now I can continue once I figured out that I didn't like what happened inside of Okay, so of, uh, here you can see logic. This is Adobe Edition. And, stuff, I, and I um, just kept you know, it was the first thing I ever used and really to uh, and, um, Adobe Audition to <laughs> to make music with. I really liked it, and I, I there's not too many things that that work as well. Uh, it's really, really hands down most user friendly. And back when I was using Pro Tools, I was still using this. Anyway, so let's go into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up those two things. Right here's my... I can just press play here. Oh, guess what? I don't have it set up to... To... Alright, hold on. So we have to go to... Hardware setup. This should be working. Oh, all right. Let's let's just use. Um, Windows sound. All right. So that's pretty good right so now is that what we want it's going up to 25 okay I think it needs to be louder all right so this is pretty easy you just Well, that's balanced. This is volume. It's already maxed. So you just double click inside of here. And now we can just simply... See, this is the power of this. I, I really liked it. So we're just going to amplify the thing up by about 3 dB. It is destructive, though. That was the problem with it. You know, it's destructive. Let's see how it sounds now. Now it's bouncing around 22, negative 22, 21. All right, so whoops, and we wanted to play the whole thing, so let's try to get rid of the. We won't play that much of it. So that's not bad right there. We could probably even come up another 2 dB, I would say. So let's come up another 2 dB. Amplify. 2. And let's go with that. And back to multitrack. Listen to it one more time. Now it's bouncing around 20, 19. I like that better. All right. So there we go. Now, here's the thing we're going to do next. Is we're going to go back over here, inside of here, and we're going to say copy to new. Now, we're going to go like this. And... Effects, uh, we want to reverse it. Reverse right here. So let's select it all, select, select the whole thing. So we go here, select the whole thing. Where is it? 
I know it's right here. Oh, select entire wave. FX. Reverse. Alright. Now. We'll say insert into multi-track. We didn't want it to insert right there. We wanted to insert up here. Now. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now that's kind of, sounds kind of weird, right? Because it's all reversed. Let's duplicate this again. Let's say copy to new. Insert into multi track. drag tool right there let's see what that sounds like whoops forgot so okay now we'll bring the volume of this down on this side like so Now let's try it. See how that sounds. That's really close. Sounds sort of like a muffled heartbeat. Yeah, that's pretty good. I th that's pretty good. I think um, it's too much right here. Oops. Bring this down. And also, this volume has to cut out before it hits this. So, see how that sounds. It's not bad. Now, we got to sync it with the song. So now we want to. It's late. So let's go out. Let's see if we can match it. And we take this here. Okay, I'd like it to die out a little bit faster.
we need to bring some of the highs back into this part. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pull the pull the uh, effects off of here. We'll use the same graphic equalizer that we had. And we're going to bring that back up. And we're going to just replace some of these highs. We don't need too many of them. Not much of them. Too much. That sounds terrible. Um, let's see. Let's see if I really hate it. I do still, I hate it. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Voltic Track. And why is it bad? It's bad because I got the graphic EQ on both of these. So what I need to do is pull, make a duplicate of this. Copy. Alright, so now let's give it a shot and see what it sounds like. Well, it's now let's bounce it again. Let's mix it down though. Mix down new file. So fast. Okay, now we can get rid of this. So we're just going to fade this from here. Now, let's see what, and then we need to fade the intro in right here. Fade in. All right, that's it. That should be it. Yeah, that's good. And then the end. It's probably not long enough. I think it's all right. I think it'll work. So there's the club version. All right. So now uh, all I got to do is save this file. And we're going to save it. Look at options. Make sure that it's 32 bit. It is. And then we're. All right. That's it. So now you've seen how to add a intro and an outro. Yeah, it's a simple thing. The main thing is that you got, you know, 16 bars. They want 16 to 32 bars of 
some kind of beat that song is in so that they can lead into it and then we lift the beat so we'll see in in uh, about uh, two months you'll this stuff will be out I'll keep track I'll let you know when see you later